Dr. Matthew Rogalski, Toms River, New Jersey, Ocean County Foot and Ankle Surgical Associates. I run the, all the clinical research wound healing program that we do here, mainly do a lot of limb salvage, diabetic foot reconstruction, wound healing, been doing it for 12 years. When somebody comes to you and says, this is the greatest thing ever, this will do everything for your patient, you need to be skeptical about that. We're not saying that this is going to cure everybody, but it's gonna put you on that path to get to that point where we can fix a lot of these problems. It's science, science changes, science evolves. We as clinicians have to keep open minds about things, but we do need to see the evidence. The initial thoughts were, um, I thought it was neat that we are using DNA finally to do that. I was very skeptical how it was going to be, but I can tell you one of the first cases I ever did, I had a gentleman with a venous leg ulceration, 77 square centimeters, did the DNA testing, we made him the cream, and after two applications, he shrunk down to about seven centimeters. And oh. just after two applications. And he's had the wound, he was bad COPD, bad emphysema, a lot of reflux, a lot of lymphedema in his feet. And I have the pictures to prove all that. So that was one of the, the most salient features I noticed about the DNA, accurately predicting what's in that wound so we can treat that, so that we can remove the chronic inflammation which keeps these wounds open. So that was quite dramatic. Um, and now we use it as the number one treatment of our paradigm. No matter what the cause of the wound is, there's always going to be a biofilm if it's a chronic wound. Um, the NIH says that 60 to 70 percent of all infections are due to biofilm. Biofilm is ubiquitous from head to toe. Um, ophthalmology encounters it, ENT, dentistry were the first couple, pulmonary. All, all of these chronic wounds are going to have biofilm. So you have to do DNA testing. You have to identify the bacteria that's within the wound to be able to treat that biofilm. I was never a big fan of topical antibiotics because we could never identify what was in the wound and we never made that thus then strong enough to destroy the biofilm. Now we have DNA testing. We can test for 25,000 bacteria and fungus. We identify what's in there. We make a good antibiotic cream that's 1,000 to 5,000 times stronger than MICs and just blow apart the biofilm. You have to treat the biofilm. You have to identify exactly what's in it and treat it. And the best way to predict that right now is DNA sequencing. Pathogenius was, NASA used them for the space station, for God's sakes, to identify any microbes that might be on there. So that tells you how cutting edge that this technology is. So you have to treat the biofilm. You have to identify it by DNA testing and then that will help you significantly to help you to heal a lot of these very difficult chronic wounds. And it's simple, it's easy. You can identify it, you treat it, now you're able to better heal it. Why would you not do that? It's science.